Hi traders, welcome to this installation video for the Universal MA crossover tool. You'll have received an, an email from the auto fulfillment system with a username and a uh, reference number or a reference number and ID if you like. Uh, so the first thing to do is to go to the FX Argo Trader website, navigate to support tab and then go to license management then enter your reference number and ID. So let's do that. And once it confirms your details, click generate installer links. Now right at the bottom of the MT4 Pro Series installers, you'll find the link for MA Universal Crossover. So just Double click the man with the green spanner and that will start your download. And I'm just going to click in the little uh, arrow here on the download at the bottom left hand corner and I'm just going to click show in folder. We can now see our zip file and our downloads folder. So if I open that up, it's now unzipped and it's a runnable application. So all I'm going to do is run this file and just click run now and you can read through the license agreement and if you're happy with that accept it and now all we need to do is we need to point the installer at the mt4 data folder where you want to install the tool so just in mt4 just go to file open data folder and in this little explorer window the top of it here is our path to the mt4 data folder so if you just right click anywhere in there and click copy address as text you can close that down and close MT4 down as well. And now just basically just paste that path into the installer, click next, and it'll just ask us whether we're sure we want to we install in that folder. We do, so we click yes, click install, and you're done. So what will happen now is there's a batch file which runs and you can see it's loaded our login screen for us this is in java so one of the things that you need to do is make sure you have java installed before you run the installer i forgot to mention that so i'll put that at the beginning of the video and so we log in using our unique reference number and id and that now takes us to this product screen here and we're looking at under universal indicators we find this file called MA Universal and that now loads our interface we can now resize that so we can see what's going on there are a few default alerts which are in here but we can delete those and what has also happened is Pepperstone should have relaunched which it has and it will also have set up a euro dollar chart uh, and has it actually loaded our indicator? I don't think it has actually. Let's have a look. No, so all we've got to do now to finish the installation is to go to our indicators folder in MT4 and find the indicator called FXA Universal MA Crossover, load it on our chart, and make sure allow DLL imports is actually selected. The other thing I'm also going to do is I'm just going to go back and check my data path and that's correct. So in the setup area here, set data path, we can see that I've got my MT4 Java data synchronization is correct as the this interface is pointing to our MT4 data folder which is exactly where we want it to be. So I can just click done there and then I can reload or relaunch the system. and if I then just delete some of these alerts here, notice when if you want to delete, just click outside the table for a second and then you can just select and delete all these quite happily. If you click anywhere inside the table, it'll select the table as you can see here, this blue line around it. So to, to hit the delete button, just click outside it, deselect the table and then off you go. So in order to add another a new alert, we just select the alert from the asset drop down select the time frame you want to run on select the moving average periods that you want to track type of alert you're interested in 
tracking is as in the mode, whether it's touch or printed. And if I submit that alert data, you can now see that alert is being configured up there and the comment in the indicator uh, on the main chart window for the indicator is saying MA Universal running OK, Active Alerts 1. Let's double check, add one for Sterling, Active Alerts 2. It looks like we may have just had one being triggered actually because uh, I noticed the alert went to 2 and then just went straight back down to 1. So I'm suspecting that we may see a triggered sign coming in there in a second. Yeah, so Sterling Alert got triggered there, and I've just added another one for Dollar Yen. So that is how you set the system up. If you want to control the column visibility, you notice here we've got a pretty small setup. We've, we're only showing the created date symbol, time frame, MA1 method, and MA1 price. So if we want to look at MA2, uh, we need to see our MA1 for, for sure. Let's just tidy some of this up. So now I can see my MA1, MA2, MA3. I want to see my crossover mode for sure. So let's see that. I want to see whether push alerts are enabled. They are. And I want to see max alerts, my interval, I'm not using scheduled alerts, number of alerts, and data, and the last alert time. And we change our background color in the last alert time to white so we can actually see that data and we'll resize that so we can see those columns properly. So there you, there you go, guys. That's all there is to it. That's uh, now set up and running. So that is uh, how you install and set up the MA Universal Crossover system. Thanks for watching.